Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Excellent. What's going on, guys? Ben, how are you guys? How are you enjoying Comic Con? So far, so good. This is Amazing. literally my first official duty at Comic Con. Oh, that's is it really? Right oh, now. oh gosh, we will be gentle. We promise. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Fitting, uh, fitting a Comic Con crowd. Uh, could you talk about the fun and how much this uh, cult will uh, dominate the next season? They're, they're, uh, we're definitely going to learn a lot more about the farm through the course of the season, and I think it's going to be really fun. Um, I think that the the farm, the people, I mean, we've been talking about it since season one. It's, it's sort of been, it's been like one of the areas of Riverdale that we've barely seen and barely understood, but it's always been there. And so I think Roberto planted those seeds very early. And this year we're going to, um, we're really going to, we're going to get to know those, those folks. Are they involved? Can you say how involved they might be with Tyron and his, uh, or uh, No, I can't house? really say that. Speak to that, but I can definitely say that the farm becomes uh, front and center this year. I think Alice and Polly's connection to it is really that's our way. So, are we going to see any more of the Chick storyline? I mean, I know it's kind of a mystery as to whether or not he's alive yeah, or dead. We can't speak to that, but I will say that um, that that was a really fun storyline. And well, the one thing I'll say is like when we cast. Um, Jason Blossom, we thought he'd be in one episode. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, Riverdale is very, it's an ensemble and everyone, everyone seems, no one seems to get out of Riverdale forever. That's awesome. Uh, we've heard a little bit about season three having a slightly lighter dynamic, so we would love to know if there, we're going to see a little bit more comedy and like how the relationships and friendships are going to change a little bit with that in mind. I mean, I think we've always tried to balance a, a lot of tones. It's something that Roberto, the creator, does better than anyone, is that sort of darkness and lightness. And, but yeah, I think um, so far, all I can say is I've read the first two scripts, and I know this, and I've read the outline for the third script, and it definitely, it reminds me a lot of season one. Um, and there is that fun. I think that, you know, you have those characters that naturally bring so much comedy to the show, and I think they'll have uh, more, more room. I find Cheryl to be hilarious. Some people might call her a villain. I call her a heroine. Um, but uh, but Cheryl, Kevin, you know, and, and also I think that the, the sharpness and the comedy that comes from particularly Veronica's dialogue, I think, will be, will be plenty of room for that. It's awesome. We got to see a lot more from Cheryl last season. Is that going to continue? Oh, yeah. I mean, we love Madeline, and, and what she brings to Cheryl is just, you know, it's beyond her wildest dreams. Yep. Um, but yeah, they'll, she'll continue to. She is the uh, she's the queen of havoc. Uh, she will continue to be so. So we know this show is really good at the unexpected. But is there any character in particular that you think we're going to see a side of we've never seen before in season three? Hopefully all of them. I mean, I think that that's the fun of the show is that all these characters are multi-layered because we have such a large cast. You kind of never you never uh, run out of story or room or or depth with any of them because you're juggling so many. But yeah, absolutely. I think Archie definitely has, continues, I think, to grow in a really big way this season. I'm also the CEO of Archie Comics. So, so you know, our universe is vast and large and, as Sherry said, multi-dimensional. So, you know, there's a lot of layers to these characters and, and that's why the show is so successful because you see so many different colors of, of these characters. Uh, Sorry to interrupt. Last question. Okay. Um, well, uh, the Carrie episode was such a darling among the fans. I know, I know you can't say exactly what it means, but uh, do you have plans of doing another musical episode maybe this season? And if so, what show would you personally like? Oh, interesting. Um, my dream would be to do a musical every week. So I think... <laughs> I think uh, Everyone has so much fun doing it. It's obviously a lot of work. There's also more, even from the beginning, there's more music, I think, this season than the last. Yeah, I mean, what show personally would we like to see? I don't know. I mean, there's so many. I mean, it's all about Roberto's influences, you know, and, and so something in the, uh, definitely in the dark horror side of it would be a lot of, a lot of fun. I mean, I don't know. I'd love to see, like, I'd love to see them do Mamma Mia. Um, I don't think that's going to be it, so it's not a spoiler, but, you know, anything where we can get them in some uh, pantsuits and, and singing ABBA, would, would, I wouldn't mind. But music, for sure, is going to be a part of it. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you guys so much.